Hi guys, uh, Tungsten here. So uh, basically I'm working on a new uh, Rapid Strike mod uh, and I wanted to use a solenoid so I uh, sort of modded a new uh, racket for it. Um, so I thought rather than for me to finish up the entire mod, I rather just release the part by part just like what I did for the previous uh, modification I did. So I'll post, it up, post this up on the Thinkgivers account. Uh, by the way, if you have not subscribed to the channel and you think it's uh, interesting, do subscribe and uh, if you can, please hit the like button. This will help the channel a lot. So uh, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, so this is the uh, solenoid that I, uh, bracket that I came up with. So let's take a look at how how things go. Let me just uh, remove all this first. Yeah, so you can still fit the uh, so-called the trigger portion in as well. So uh, let me just remove. So so it comes with like this over here, and then uh, as you can see over here, this is th these are mix of one, two, three, and then uh, the pusher head itself. Oops, sorry for that. Uh, this is uh for the long dart, and then uh, this is for the short dart. For the mag neck, I use is uh twenty by ten by five, if I'm not wrong. Uh, also. For those who do not need this so-called uh, hybrid kind of situation, I will provide the uh, normal kind of uh, for the long darts and then for the short dart and then of course if you need a hybrid then you'll be something like this yeah and you can go in yeah so over here this uh, holder itself uh, as we know the solo solenoid head is tends to so-called wobble like this if you don't handle it so what I did is I used this uh, so-called piece over here in fact this also act, act as a extension for the wiring okay uh, this is similar to the piece I did earlier many many months back I think so over here now it have this so-called extension over here which uh, when you place in this will just slide inside like this so it actually prevents the uh, so-called the the uh, pusher to so-called uh, move up and down, and then it also sort of sort of guide it along, so it won't move. Yeah. So if you put it down here, you can use it as a extension. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, to give you more space for the wiring as well as when you place it down. Okay. So it's actually it's in here and then it will guide the uh, the head and it won't let it wobble around yeah okay so let's take a look at uh, the solenoid itself uh, the bracket itself let me get a screwdriver over here so uh, let me just dismantle this so basically you have a few sides so these are m4 by 12 screws okay you can remove so once removed for this side, you have two screw posts. You can just remove it like this. So this piece itself is interlocked. So once you remove a piece, you can actually move it out. So uh, you can see the design something like this. So you can put it in and then interlock it. Okay, and then when you put it there, you will interlock. So you will, you know, uh, sort of. Uh, not mess with the wire itself okay so the other side okay again is held by a few screws okay okay I understand the uh, so-called the solenoid when it comes uh, it's not very consistent where the uh, hole is so, so the uh, make it such that it is wider wider than necessary so you just to keep it in place anyway if we uh, sort of you know, house this way 
over here and then if you, this side is actually trap it up and down as well so it's I believe it's quite firm yep so for this uh, the good thing is uh, you even if you do the solo noid mod if you want to use back the uh, pusher you can actually do so so do you need some shell cutting yes a little bit so you can see it, when this goes in it actually friction fit to the to the pose itself so it won't move however okay when you first place it down you realize this part will more or less you know, it will be more more than it will sort of jut out so you simply just okay take this type of uh, and cut it such that it's fresh as well as this pole itself you cut it is fresh you cut it is fresh so actually for the if you place the original pusher back you actually do not need to screw it on it still works fine and then uh, i think there might be something here that you need to just cut away i'm not too sure i cannot remember yeah but so you have just friction fit here and then you will use this pins to you know sort of uh station it yep so for the other side okay when you close this thing actually will just you no know, flow in here and then you just fit so you actually you know again it is like you know in place and it will not move around again you, you will need to so called cut away lever this piece over here but once you do that uh, it should go in pretty well you know. okay so you can just fit the solenoid something like this okay this you can retain yes. okay you can uh, just put all the screw back then uh, when you close it it's actually quite easy okay put on the screws then you can actually close it pretty well and uh for the gem door let me get the gem door okay you need to cut away this portion as well as this portion and you can actually fit it in uh, it will still be okay you can still open and close the gem door no problem yeah okay so yeah so again for the solenoid oh yes i realized there are sort of thing two two this is a 35 the, the extension is about 35 i realized there are two types that i can purchase the bag is actually different you can see this is uh, the bag is different so i have tested it out so you actually fit both uh, type so you can go in the lock and then okay, the lock okay so it can fit both type okay if i'm it should be fine i believe okay so again this protects you now later on wiring below yeah so this is the uh yeah bracket that i designed so i'll post it out on my thing give us a uh, link in the description uh next basically for the solenoid itself you do have to replace this spring it's, you can see the one that it comes with is pretty flim you know flimsy okay so um what I replace is if is this. Uh this is 0 0.8 by 50 by 15. Yeah. So yeah, so you can replace this uh with uh oops with this spring. Uh I have not tried the uh 0 0.9 one. It's a bit long for the 0 0.9 if you were to use the uh by 50 because once you compress it take up space, so maybe I need to cut it down, but uh, with the 0 0.8 I can still get uh, the rate of fire that I want so I'll just stick with the 0 0.8 yeah so later on maybe I'll show you how to remove this all right let's look at how we can remove so uh, even for this guy over here is I find it very difficult to pull out this catch here to sort of replace the spring so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the technique whereby you know it just sort of uh, ease it out so just gonna remove one side okay make it out like this and then uh okay then you can uh, sort of twist it out right i think this is the technique that uh 
sometimes we uh, use okay and just twist it off okay, put your finger over here and then just slowly twist it out okay at the last few rounds you might need to just put it out yeah so to put it in again uh, you just do the opposite okay you just have to uh, sort of uh, sort of get it in at one end and then you can twist it in twist it in twist it in okay hold, hold it here and then you can just do the twisting okay towards the end you might need to do a little bit of uh, twisting around until it eventually catch for all should be fine there you go so it's a uh, now it's you don't it, it won't flop around all right it won't flop around yeah so you can it's definitely much better yeah compared to this very weak one yeah so there you have it okay so i'm going to release this on the thing givers if you can you can also follow me on my thing givers uh, so i'll post my design there yep so i'm tungsten so you have uh thanks for watching so if you have not subscribed do please do so and uh if you like the content please hit the like button thanks